comedic spoof comedy. You being a comedic actor, there's a lot of freedom, obviously, to a film like this as opposed to a normal film. Does that kind of draw you in? Definitely, I think it's one of it's one of the most attractive aspects of, of a movie like this in the sense that um, you you know you're expected to, to deliver your your skill set, and then uh, because it's a spoof. It's a, it's a lot freer. It's a lot freer form. You don't you don't have to really follow the script by the dot, right. and and even more so that you know um, the Wayans and Marlon in particular, they really know how to do this type of movie, and so it's even more encouraging to say, hey, you know, he's always like, go 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 for it, <laughs> go say it, let go, don't even worry about it, right? And so. Um, and, you know, I'm, and now I'm not confined by any of the kind of, you know, be it the TV value rules or things that I'm, you know, that I'm normally doing. I'm just totally off the cuff in this movie. I mean, I can't help but see that it seemed like there was so much improv that was going on, man. So I want to ask you between Atheon, yourself, and Damien, I mean, what was it like on set? You know, it, it was, for us, it was just like, I mean, constantly just jokes, jokes, jokes. I mean, and so, I mean, but the makeup trailer is always funny, like in the morning where it's just like going down and just, you know, but Marlon is probably the biggest card out of all of us, you know, because he's just, he's got 159 stories to tell and probably all from that big family that he has. Yeah. It's oh. a lovely scarf you're wearing. It's a sash, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm selling these. This is oh, part of my do. new clothing line. Jesus pieces. And I got like the shoes that the Pope be wearing. Oh, I love her. Uh, Sway. The green, brown. And the Pope hats. I can't keep them. You know that it's love. You know what? That's enough. Thank you so much. That's great. Can we help my daughter, please? Yeah. She was a really white girl over here. Oh, my God. I was like, whoa. Oh, All right. Oh, Y'all some crazy ass. Man, y'all thought I was gonna shoot this bitch? I'm gonna just gonna pistol whip her until she weaken. Well, I gotta ask you, man, switching gears. Last week, deadline, they broke that there's actually gonna be a barbershop three. Yeah. So what can you tell us about barbershop three? Everybody wants yeah. to know. They still shaping it up. The story hasn't been quite developed yet, but that's a lot of fun. I mean, this is super exciting. I think that uh, you know, it's been a really uh, good year for uh, you know, the African American films that, you know, make a comeback and especially the comedies. And I think that that's just such a uh, a great brand and so I look forward to it. And, you know, uh, my character Eddie coming back. I don't know how old I'm gonna be in this one. I was already old in the movie, but right. yeah. <laughs> maybe we just suspend the years. I don't. Whatever I do, I told him I don't want to die. <laughs> I heard that, man. <laughs> well, hopefully you won't. Um, you know, it's been 15 years. You're talking about age. It's been 15 years since the original Kings of Comedy. Yeah, man. If you could, you know, it's, it's not gonna ever be better than the originals. But if you could, who would you draft to be on the next set, the next generation of Kings of Comedy? Oh man, it's a lot of really fun young guys out there, man. It's uh, and that's a hard one to say. I mean, I think that uh, of course, you know, uh, me, Steve, and DL, we still out there grinding and getting it in. But if you look at like kind of who's popping in that next generation, you'd probably have to go Kevin, Cat, Mike Epps, and then you know you can throw. Uh, you know, it, it goes wide at that point. Like, I don't even know. It's like, you know, it's a lot of really cool little cats in that that area, be it D-Ray or, or, or Lil Rail or Deion Cole. There's a lot of cats that's kind of popping off right now, right there. Of course, you want that success, yeah. um, but just do it because you love it. I am so lying. Yeah, it feels good. Ha! In your face, haters. Ha! Ha! $67 million worldwide in your face. Mm. I get a tag before. In we... your face! Uh, tag that!